Hey guys, hello, my lovely peaches. How are you? Funny, I'm like wearing the same sweatshirt <laughs> for like the third day. It's it's uh, it was washed and I wore it again. It's my my new sweatshirt, and I was like making fun of that one uh, creator. She literally would wear the same same sweatshirt in every video for like two years, like. <laughs> Every day for two years like are you kidding girl anyway that's not what i wanted to talk about i want to say hey i don't think i've ever mentioned that i was raised by a black woman <laughs> that my mother is a black woman my mom is haitian she's got brown skin yeah she's a black woman she speaks french her first language is french not english her first culture her oops Make sure I get the keys. Oh, shit. I'm going to the bus stop to meet my son. So, anyway, why am I suddenly talking about the fact that my mom is black? My mom is a black woman. She's one of my best friends in life. She's my savior. She raised me. She married my dad when I was three. And they got custody of me a week before I turned five. And my sister and I, who were born to our um, green-eyed, red curly-haired, dark red curly-haired, white mother and white father, brown eyes and dark brown hair both like Russian German Eastern European descendants and then my mom and dad my dad my biological dad and my mom who married my dad when I was a baby raised us my whole life from when I was five up till forever and why am I mentioning that now all of a sudden well, I never, it was never relevant before, but I am loading up a video that I'm editing this afternoon where I'm going to be talking more about Twitch, Steven Twitch Boss, and Allison Holker, and suspicious behavior, and toxic mothers, and some weird thoughts I have about her daughter. Allegedly, suspicions, and so I thought I'd make a quick. If you're interested in that, that topic, and talk about how Matt LeBlanc posted a tribute to his friend Matthew Perry about two and a half weeks after Matthew Perry's untimely and very tragic passing, and how that got me thinking. And that got me thinking about how when somebody tragically passes, it usually is like, you know, like how all, all the friends put out a joint statement two days later. But you know that was like a PR statement, you know? It's like, of course, we have to address it. Get our PR person to write a statement. But, you know, like when Takeoff passed away, uh, there was no activity on Cardi B um, Offset's pages for like two weeks. You know, and that's the, sa the same thing with the Friends character, uh, not characters, the actors who played Friends, who were with Matthew Perry playing Friends. None of them have posted anything on their social media at all. And, you know, and when I saw Matt LeBlanc's post today, I was like, see... That's what feels normal, natural. Not to judge how people grieve, but the way Allison Holker had a statement ready to go, like, I don't remember. I should, should do the research. Was it the same exact day or the next day? But it was like so instantaneously quick. I was like, sus, I am. Anyway, if you're interested in that video, which I'll be posting this afternoon, Join me, bye!